Hi, I'm Rachel Lovell with Rachel Lovell Astrology and today I'm going to be talking about Saturn through the 12 houses. Saturn takes about 29.5 years to orbit the Sun. That's about 2.5 years in each house. Um, Saturn is associated with Kronos and in ancient astrology Saturn is associated with both Aquarius and Capricorn. Saturn represents restriction, obstacles, limitations, oppositions. Um, in the zodiac, Saturn is across from Leo and Cancer, represented by the sun and the moon, and are the luminaries. Um, Saturn is discipline, depression, decay, death. Um, I think I said obstacles and blockages, big time blockages. <laughs> and he is the lord of karma. Saturn is also the timekeeper, and uh, that's what Kronos was, the god of time. Um, he is our greatest teacher. Saturn, I would like to invite you to look at Saturn as a teacher, as opposed to what he gets a bad rap for. Um, his transits tend to be quite difficult, especially on the angles um, and the eighth house, but um, the transits they do tend to be hard, but I really want to invite you to look at Saturn as one of the greatest teachers that we have, one of the biggest soul's evolution that you're going to experience. Saturn, um, Saturn builds brand new foundations. Saturn leaves many gifts at the end um, of his transit, at least from my experience and what I've, from what I've seen. Um, you know, wherever Saturn's transiting, um, whether it be in friendships, money, um, uh, joint finance, or um, higher education, you know, whichever house he's going in, if there are blocks or if there are if there are holes in these situations, in these themes of your life, Saturn comes in and he forces a spotlight on it and he forces you to re restructure these areas of your life. So if he goes into the house of friendships and you have, um, you know, friendships that are no longer serving you, you're probably going to um, see the end to those friendships or and, and, and get new friendships, friendships that, um, that are healthy for you and that um, help you. Uh, same with relationships, same thing. Um, if he goes into the house of finance or joint finance and, and you know, this area needs mad restructuring, by the end of that transit, you're going to be in a completely new place where it comes to finances and joint finance. Um, so I, I really, when I look at Saturn, I look at him like, not just the teacher, not just, and not the favorite teacher, like not the grade two teacher that you go in, he's just like rainbows and butterflies and you know, you, you just love being in his class. It's not that teacher, no, no. He is the college professor that you go in, it's very serious. It's a very serious tone. And you know, there's no goofing around in the class. But when you finish that class, when you leave, you have a brand new understanding that is bulletproof, solid foundation on whatever it is that you are learning from him. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through all of the houses and um, this is my first series. I was really drawn to do Saturn. I'm very drawn to Saturn. Um, the biggest changes in my life have come through my Saturn transits. They have been you know, they've restructured me as a person and, you know, he is the Lord of Karma and, you know, paying back Karma is, um, it, it's not easy, but there's freedom in that. You know, there is so much freedom in, in paying off Karma and, and paying our dues and, um, and building solid foundations in all areas of our life. So, you know, I, I find Saturn or I think of Saturn as a blessing. Um, I'm sure he's not done with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and go through the 12 houses. If you don't know what house Saturn is, you're going to go by your rising sign 
and you can find that on astro-seek.com you can go ahead and find your rising sign and you know if you drop a comment below i can let you know which house uh, saturn is transiting in your chart and uh that's it have a wonderful day Okay, so we're looking at the 8th house, so Saturn transiting your 8th house. And the topics you may experience are death, inheritance, other people's money, shared resources, taxes, debt, um, joint finances, fear, anxiety, fines, penalties. Sounds like a lot of fun. I've had some very personal experiences with this house and I have seen and looked at charts and many, many experiences. So I, I've, I've, got a, I've got a good grasp on it and um, I would like to take, I know it's one of the harder houses, but I would like to take a bit of a different approach on it. Um, in eighth house, they call this, in the eighth house, in Vedic astrology, the eighth house is called the house of liberation. And that's because we are burning away our karma while we're in this house. This is a karmic house. So, it's a house of huge transformations, um, difficult lessons to be learned. Um, we are we are asked to face our demons, whether those demons, you know, deep, deep fears, facing them, um, wounds, opening them up and taking a really good look at them. Um, I know that when I was actually Saturn transiting this house for myself, I had um, received a hundred free hours of trauma therapy. I mean... It was a fantastic experience and I was able to really open it up and look at all of um, stuff from the past and really, really grow as a person. I think that this house is the, um, you know, well, the Phoenix rising happens after this house, you know, towards the end, at the end. But this is like the, the cocooning. This is the, um, the making of the diamond, the crushing of the pressure. You know, diamonds aren't made in the sunlight, right? They're made deep in the earth and under crushing pressure. Um, and this house is um, this house is creating that beautiful diamond, that liberation. So, um, so you may those topics that I told you, you may you may um, experience blocks within those topics. Uh, you might feel like the weight is all on your shoulders. Um, when we look at something like joint finance, shared resources, this could come in the um, in the way of a partner losing a job. Um, maybe you are reliant on your partner and your stay at home, um, and your partner um, loses his job, or your you know you have shared resources and their income is is for some reason. Um, uh, constricted. There's blockages. Um, another way that this can come in too is definitely with, um, because this comes after the seventh house of marriage, uh, it can also be, you know, seen as the divorce house. Um, basically, you know, a division of assets can occur, um, child support, uh, these sorts of things. They may be blocked. Um, you know, it may be a time of going through court or whatnot so you you um you aren't receiving any funds and uh it's just you yeah a time where definitely where anything to do with joint finances can be truly restricted um another way this can happen is a business partnership um when saturn transited my eighth house is when my business with my business partner dissolved um, there was a, a hardship definitely within the income and it was it became incredibly hard to make money so um, but what a blessing because that happened right before COVID so you know I, like Saturn he's full of blessings but but things happen you feel the real weight on your shoulders um, all your supports can be pulled um, government funding that you've had um, maybe you know um, pulled or you know paperwork lost or something like just you know where it for me I'm, I'm thinking of this exact situation is that um the government like the child tax was taken and then it was a couple of months after Saturn actually left my eighth and went into my ninth that I got a huge refund of money back but during that time it was very constricted um Saturn is 
teaching us self-sufficiency. So it's, you know, through these hardships, we are learning um, the greatest gift of all, and that is to rely on ourselves. Um, when we are reliant on other people, there, there is no freedom in that. So there's a real liberation of freedom, um, you know, from, from these restrictions to your joint finances. Um, it may not come in joint finances at all for you. You, you may experience, I mean, a small percentage um, experience death of somebody. Typically, it's to do with somebody elderly um, because, again, this house is attached to inheritance. Um, division. If somebody passes, there may be a blocks and obstacles in, in receiving the inheritance. It may be going through like court or, you know, what have you. Um, so, but that can definitely be a topic. Um, it's a very serious house. Um, how you assert your power may come up. This was a big one for me, and, and I, I, I kind of skimmed over it um, when I was looking at astrology, but how we assert our power. Are we aggressive, forceful, um, using aggression in the world to get our way? Are we passive, overly passive? Um, if you are, you may be faced um, with, uh, with these situations and, and forced to look at them and then forced to change. But again, what a blessing, right? Sex, there may be blockages. Um, I've actually seen several people um, meet very deep, deep relationships while Saturn's transiting their eighth house. Um, deep soulmate love. However, that soulmate may live at a distance, um, be in a relationship. I mean, you know, along these lines where there's a blockage for sex, where, you know, you can't be intimate with the person. Um, potentially your partner may have um, issues with um, erectile dysfunction. I'm not sure. But, you know, issues can come up around sex. Sex is going to be all about intimacy. Your, your sex is... Um, you go into a time where you really want that deep, intimate uh, association with sex. So if you're, you know, if you're having fun and with multiple partners, this could definitely be a time where you narrow that down to one person. Uh, you'll have deep revelations and healing that is going to happen. Your phoenix will rise after. Uh, you may feel while you're going through, um, remember uh, Saturn is the um, Kronos, the Lord of Time, God of Time. You may feel that time is going very, very slow while you're in this house um, with weight heavily on your shoulders. Um, but it's, you know, it's for your better good. It's so that the lessons can be learned. We're building a new foundation. You know, Saturn, Saturn is teaching us and helping us to build a new solid foundation so that we are no longer... Um, you know, we're no longer codependent on somebody else or, or um, uh, we become self-sufficient. You, know, you know, we're attached to somebody for their resources. By the time we leave this house, we no longer are. We no longer are. And you know what? If you're somebody who is the one doling out the resources and um, it's unfair and somebody is employing their way, by the end of this transit, that is going to have changed. You know, and what freedom and liberation that is. Um... I've talked about business partners. I've talked about, I believe I talked about facing death, but yeah, you need to, you will be potentially asked to face um, deep fears, including that of death. Um, it's very, very transformative time. Um, what else? You may experience um, penalties or fines while, you're, while Saturn's transiting this house. This is not a time to cheat on your, your um, taxes. This dot your I's, cross your T's, it is not time, it'll catch up with you. Do not, that is not recommended. Um, same with things like fines and whatnot, pay everything. If, you, if you're if you watching this and you're in the seventh house right now and you're gonna be coming into the eighth house, work out your joint finances as best as possible. Uh, that would be kind of the best advice. Get things sort of set up um, as best as you possibly can before, you know, the because what happens is that 
when Saturn gets into the eighth house, everything gets heavy and it makes it so much harder. So try to work that out. Um, uh, positive things that I can tell you from this house is that when Saturn towards the end of this transit, you may, um, I personally did, receive many gifts in the way of joint finances. I received like government money, uh, I received um, money from my ex-spouse, um, and, and in lump sums, I also sold the business and I received money from that. So it, it's, it's a, you can, you will be blessed if you do the work and you do what Saturn is trying to ask you to do. The, um, Saturn is trying to help the soul evolve and these karmic houses is paying back karma and moving these things out of the way so in in your soul's evolution um sometimes some things need to be lost but new things will be found right so it's it's an exciting time it may not feel that way in it um some people with less karma in these areas tend to breeze through i've heard of people no people breezing through um there's still usually stuff that'll come up along with uh you know a little bit of debt or you know you take out a student loan and have trouble paying it back and but by the end you know all of that'll be cleared so um saturn through the eighth house though one of the harder houses uh is probably the most transformative time of my life and i hope that if saturn is tra tra transiting your eighth house that you too can see the silver lining and that when Saturn does leave um you know you can look back and think wow you know like I can't believe how far I've come in the last two and a half years like you're you're gonna be amazed amazed when you come out of that tunnel you'll be amazed so uh good luck um and enjoy and I will see you soon <laughs>